yogis. So today we're going to be doing core um, and some upper body strengthening. I had a request for both core and um, some strength training for inversions, which is mostly core and then some stuff with the shoulders. So um, shouldn't need any props today. If you want to have a pillow or blocks to sit on later, you can, so you can grab one of those. Otherwise, just make your way home to your back. So starting, wind down on your back, feet down on the floor, maybe a little bit further apart so you can let them drop in towards each other. Take your hands onto your belly. Take a moment to adjust through your shoulders, through your hips, finding where it's comfortable, where they're not tucked too far under you. And go ahead and close your eyes. Take a moment to find anywhere you're holding tension, maybe even in your face. Try to allow it to be released. Take a moment to notice the quality of your breath before you begin to change it. And then when you're ready to lengthen your breath, take one of your hands onto your belly, one onto the middle of your chest, and you're just gonna take a deep inhale, filling the body up from the bottom, letting that bottom hand on your belly rise, and then all the way up to the top, Top hand on your chest rising as you exhale. Pull your navel in really far. Let the air release. Hopefully feeling the hand on your belly rising first, then the one on your chest, hand on your belly falling, and then the one on your chest. So you're letting the air expand from the belly up and leave from the belly up. Take a couple more deep inhales and exhales here. Try to let any thoughts you have that aren't, have nothing to do with your body or your breath to be released. Allowing the tension to melt away from your shoulders, from your forehead. Prefer. You're just going to bring both knees up off the floor, arms out to a T, or you can even cactus them, and let the knees drop over to the left. So come into a nice gentle twist. Your shoulder can come off the ground if you need it to, bringing your hand to your low back if your shoulder is lifted. Taking a deep inhale, sending the air all the way down to your belly as you exhale, pull it in. Maybe you can relax that shoulder back a little bit further. slowly come back up to center, evening out through your hips, and then when you're ready, exhaling them over to the right. Same as before, if your shoulder comes off the floor, just bring your hand to your low back. Every time you inhale, fill your belly up, fill your lungs as much as you can. As you exhale, pull everything in. Maybe you can guide that shoulder back a little further.
all the way up to center. You're going to take your hands behind your head, lifting your head and shoulders off the ground. Let your head relax back into your hands. And then you're just going to reach your left leg long and bring it back in. So pull your navel back so that it's pressing down into the floor. You'll reach your right leg long and pull it back in. If you're having trouble keeping your belly down, lift your leg a little bit higher, pulling back in. And if you feel okay with it, you can hover your leg even closer to the floor. And if it feels good for you, instead of coming back in, you can switch the legs at the same time. Couple more like this. Last time, pull your legs in, place them feet flat out on the ground, lifting your chin slightly, hands out onto the floor. You're going to inhale your hips up off the ground, coming into bridge pose. Take a really deep inhale, stretching your belly up towards the ceiling. Exhale to pull it in, squeeze your buns, flatten out your low back. On your exhale, come all the way back down. We're going to bring the knees off the ground. Hands can come behind your head. Try to press your low back down. You're just going to take your feet, tap them down to the floor, and then come all the way back up as high as feels good. So you can lift your low back off the ground if it feels okay, and come back down. If you want to, you can reach your arms up, reaching the knees towards your triceps, and lowering them back down. Try to squeeze the knees in, moving slowly, exhaling all the way out. Inhaling as you drop the toes down. Couple more like this. One more time. Take the feet down, bring your head down, arms by your sides, chin lifted slightly. Roll yourself back up into your bridge pose. Inhaling a deep breath, pressing your belly towards the ceiling. Exhale, pulling the navel in. Squeeze your booty, let your low back be flat. Exhale, slowly rolling down. Bring your left knee into your chest. You can bring your hand on the back of the leg, and you're just going to start to reach the heel up towards the ceiling and bending it again. Reaching it up as you inhale, heel reaching up. Exhale to bend again. Each time, maybe you can get the leg a little bit straighter. Moving with your breath. If it feels good, you can straighten out your right leg. Couple more like this. And then the next time that you have your leg straight, hold it there, reaching towards the ceiling. If it feels good, you can pick your head and shoulders up, pulling the leg a little bit closer to you. And then we're going to take our right heel, hover it off the ground. If your head and shoulders aren't already up, bring them up. Arms by your sides, try to U-shape your spine. Keeping that heel lifted towards the ceiling. Pulling your navel back. On your next inhale, sweep yourself up using your hands if you need to, coming into chair or boat pose. So roll your shoulders back, try to keep your spine long, navels pulled in, squeeze your legs together. Either just your toes or your knees if it feels good. You can straighten if you like to. Arms can come out if you like. Breathing. And then 
bringing that right knee to your chest. Slowly make your way back down onto your back. Hand on the back of your right thigh. Start to reach it towards the ceiling. And bend it again. Moving with your breath. Inhaling as you reach. Exhaling as you bend. more times like this. You can extend your left leg long if it feels okay. Next time that you have that leg up, hold it there. You can take your head and shoulders off the ground. And then just like we did on the other side, left leg, the heel is just going to hover right off the ground. Pick yourself up a little higher, letting your arms re release, reaching. Toes pulling back towards you, active through both legs. On your next exhale, come all the way back up to both. So holding onto the backs of your knees if you like. Hands can come behind you if it feels better. This time we're going to inhale back. Exhale, coming in. If you like to, you can take your hands together and bring your knees wide out towards your shoulders. One more like this. And then we're just gonna come up to seated. So I'm gonna grab my block because I need to sit on it and I'll turn towards you so you can see. So sitting up really tall, inhale your arms above your head. As you exhale, twist over towards the left. Try not to use that hand to yank you over. It's just relaxing. Your left shoulder is starting to twist you back. Inhale all the way back up to center and exhale over to the right. So same as before. Your left hand is just relaxed. Right shoulder is guiding you back. On your next inhale, come back to center, crossing over your legs, come to all fours. So you want to spread your fingertips as wide as you can. Make sure that your shoulders are right over your wrists, your knees are underneath your hips, and you can start to flow through cat and cow. So reaching your chest forward, tailbone up. Exhale, pull your navel in and try to reach your upper back as far as you can. Moving with your own breath. times like this. And then make your way back to center. Pull your navel in. You're going to take your left knee and you're going to cross it over your right. You're going to walk your hands over to the right. And take your gaze back to your right hip. So you're feeling the stretch down the side of your left body and you're feeling a crunch on the right. On your inhale, walk your hands back to center, and we're switching to the other side. So right knee is going to cross over left, walk your hands to the left, take your gaze back to your left hip. On your inhale, back to center, flow through around with cat and cow. And then we're going to tuck our toes and make our way to downward facing dog. So taking a moment, pedal out your legs. And then coming to center, bend your knees a little bit, 
Press your chest back towards your thighs. So you want a really big angle in your wrist. So you're not forward like this. You're really far back, trying to reach your chest back to the back of your mat. And then once you get there, press into your hands as if you're trying to press them out away. On your inhale, we're gonna roll forward, coming into plank. Try to allow your shoulder to, to relax forward. Hips are reaching up towards your ribs. And then bend your knees slightly, all the way back to downward facing dog. We're gonna move through that a few times, so moving with your own breath. When you inhale, come forward, relax into the plank, and then exhale all the way back. Inhaling forward. Exhaling back. Inhale, rolling forward. Exhaling back. One more time like this. Come all the way forward and hold. Trying to press the floor away from you. And then coming all the way back to downward facing dog. You're going to take your left hand and bring it to your right thigh, opening up, looking underneath your right underarm if it feels okay. Try to keep your chest reaching back so you're not putting all the weight into your hands. On your inhale, come back to center, moving to the other side. So right hand's going to come over to the left leg. Bring your gaze underneath the left underarm. On your exhale, come back to center, come down to your knees, and shake a child's pose. So hips back to your heels, coming down to the floor. I'm just going to sit because child pose doesn't feel good for me. Take a couple of breaths here. So deepen through the nose. Allow your body to fill up completely. And exhale, pull everything in towards your spine. Let all the air leave. On your next inhale, coming out of your child's pose, back to downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, stretch your chest back towards your thighs, bending your knees a little bit if you need to. You want your spine as long as you can get it, pressing the floor away from you. And then we're going to shift forward to plank again. Once you get here, come down to your knees. You're going to take your left forearm. Bring it down onto the floor so your fingertips are facing to the right. And we're gonna make our way into a side plank. So making a fist if it's more comfortable for you. Your right hand's gonna come up towards the ceiling. You can come down onto your knee if it feels better. We're gonna reach the hips up towards the ceiling and then dip them back down. Reach them up, feel that crunch. And down. Three. Four, five, six, seven, last one, reach, reach, reach with the hips, and then take that left hip down, bring your left hand to the floor. You're going to reach your hip towards the front of your mat and your shoulders towards the back so you can feel the stretch down inside your body. Deeply inhaling and exhaling, slow your breath. On your next exhale, slowly make your way back to center. And we're gonna move to the other side. So I'm gonna turn around. This time, right hand's gonna come so that it's facing, the hand's facing to the left. 
and slowly make your way into your side plank. So just like before, bottom knee can come down, but you want to reach your hips up as high as you can. Arm reaching if it feels good. Dip them down. Exhale, pull them all the way up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, last one, reach, 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 and then bringing it down, take your right palm to the floor, shoulders are reaching away from the front of your mat, and your hips are reaching towards so that you feel that stretch down the side of your body, slowing down your breath. On your next exhale, slowly making your way back to center and to downward facing dog. So take a moment to pedal your legs, send your chest back towards your thighs, press the floor away from you. Once it feels good, if it, okay, without changing the way that your upper body is, you can start to straighten your legs. So the upper body is more important than your, straight, your legs being straight. Exhale, come back down to all fours. We're going to flow through a round of cat and cow. Reaching your chest forward, tailbone up. Exhale, lift your body away. Try to get the upper back as far as you can. And then we'll make our way back to center. So we're going to do something for the shoulders. Taking your hands, you're going to walk them one hand front forward. Elbows facing backwards. Press the upper back towards the ceiling. So take a second to notice the way it feels with your chest sunken down and with your shoulders pressing forward as if you're trying to press the floor away from you. Moving through that, you should feel a huge difference. And we're going to hold that pressing into the floor as we lower our elbows down, coming into all four, or onto forearms, and then press back up. Elbows facing backwards the whole time. So they're bending back towards you and lifting up. Inhaling as you lift, spread your fingers wide. And then after this next one, make your way into a child's pose. Taking a moment to take a few breaths here. You can bring your arms down by your sides in your child's pose if you prefer. Deep inhales and exhales. And then on your next inhale, coming back to all fours, we're going to do the same thing again. So taking your hands just slightly forward of being underneath your shoulders, elbows pressing back, press the floor away from you so your upper back is lifting wide through the shoulder girdle. And then you're going to take your elbows, point them backwards, and lower down. Press back in. Keeping the shoulders exactly the same, just bending in the elbows. Moving with your breath. We'll take one more like this. And then make your way back to your child's pose. 
Just like before, hands can come down by your sides if you prefer. Take a moment to relax through your shoulders. And then on your exhale, slowly coming up, reaching your arms forward, make your way to downward facing dog. Reach your chest back towards your thighs, really stretching through the shoulders. And then we're going to slowly make our way into plank and we're going to hold it. So just like we did on all fours, notice the difference between letting your chest collapse and pressing the floor away wide through the shoulders. Holding here. Reach your hips towards your ribs, pulling your navel in. And then when you're ready, releasing down onto your knees. Take your hands forward, make your way onto your belly. So we're going to do some stuff for our back because our back is also part of our core. Arms down by the sides, palms facing up. You want to press your navel, sorry, you want to press your pelvis down. Pull your navel away from the floor. Tops of the feet, flat down on the ground. When you're ready, you can lift your chest first. Your hands can stay on the floor if that's enough. You can reach them up if it feels good. And then pressing your pelvis down more, you can lift your legs if it feels okay. If you feel a crunch through that low back, take your feet back down. You wanna not feel it there. Inhaling maybe a little bit higher. We're gonna hold here. Keeping that navel pulled away from the floor, pelvis pressing in. On your exhale, release down, take one cheek to the floor, rock your hips side to side. So we're going to do the same thing again. So coming back to center with your face, press your pelvis down, lift your navel up. Chest and head first, arms if you like to, legs as long as you don't feel that crunch in your low back. Navel pulling away. Maybe you can come a little bit higher, squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other. Imagine somebody's pulling your chest forward with a string. Relax all the way down, bringing one cheek to the floor, rocking hips side to side. We're going to do one more time, so doing exactly like we did before, if you like, or if you want more of a challenge, arms can come in front of you. Exactly the same as we started with, pelvis down, navel pulling away from the floor like you're trying to suction the floor with your belly button. Head and shoulders first, and then you can reach your arms, legs, as long as you don't feel it in your low back. Take your gaze down to the floor so you're not crunching your neck. Focus on pulling that navel away from the floor. And don't forget to breathe. On your exhale, come all the way back down, rocking through your hips. And then when you're ready, hands underneath your chest, press yourself back, take a child's pose.
Two more long breaths here. And then when you're ready, making your way up to all fours, we're gonna come into dolphin. You have options here. You can bring your arms so they're right in front of you on the floor, elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms on the ground, your hands are gonna be really wide. Or if you like, you can bring your palms together, clasping, but make sure you keep your elbow and your armpit in a line, okay? So finding your way there, taking your hands down, however feels good for you, press the floor away, just like we're doing in our plank. And then you're gonna tuck your toes under, sending your head back, just like you would in downward facing dog. You might need to bend your knees a little bit more, totally okay. Maybe you can walk them in further. We're gonna stay right here. So try to press into your forearms and widen through your shoulders. Exhale, releasing down. Make your way into child's pose. Arms down by your sides if it feels comfortable for you. Slowing down your breath. One more long inhale, complete exhale. And then on your inhale, make your way back to all fours. So we're gonna do dolphin again, but this time everybody taking their hands to clasp because we're gonna do chin, 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 chin taps. So just like before, elbow and shoulder are gonna be in a line, bringing yourself into that dolphin pose and then pressing your head back. We're gonna look towards our hands and we're gonna come in Tap with your chin and slowly press with your forearms all the way back to that dolphin pose. Second time. Exhaling all the way back. Third one. Exhale. Fourth time. Couple more. Coming forward. Two more times, all the way forward, all the way back. Last one. And then coming down, make your way into your child's pose. Let your arms relax down by your sides. On your next inhale, coming up to all fours, and then we're going to make our way back down onto our bellies. So we're going to stretch through the shoulders. So let's try to turn at an angle so that you can see. Your left arm is going to come out to the side, right arm right underneath of you. Slowly start to press. Let your head relax down. Just coming to where you feel the stretch. Moving really slow. If it feels good and you can have the openness in your shoulders, your right foot can come to the floor behind you. And if it's okay and you feel comfortable, you can bring your right hand behind you, but don't do anything that makes your shoulder feel bad.
on your next exhale, take your hand back down to the floor. And as slowly as you came into it, make your way out, being very gentle with your shoulder. And we'll move to the other side. So your left hand's gonna come underneath you, right arm out to the side, slowly rolling over, head down on the floor. Maybe your foot can come up and over. Maybe your left hand can come to your low back. On your next inhale, come all the way back to center. Slowly, slowly. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Come back to a child's pose. Taking two long inhales and exhales. Inhale, coming up so that you're sitting on your heels like I am. You're going to take your hands behind you and clasp them. Reach down towards your feet. Open your chest to the ceiling, maybe your chin. As you exhale, if you'd like, you can lean forward, reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, coming towards a child's pose. And then coming all the way back up, release your arms. Give yourself a hug. Let your head drop down. Inhale your arms back out to the sides. Take the opposite one up on top. Giving yourself a hug. On your inhale, release. We're going to make our way into seated. So I'm going to grab my blocks. If you don't need a block or a pillow, you can sit just flat down on the ground. Just going to stretch through the hamstrings. So reaching the legs forward, sit up really tall. Pull your toes back towards you. Flex through your thighs. And then try to reach your chest towards your feet. So your belly is trying to come flat down onto your thighs. You're not rounding over. That doesn't do anything. You want to be long. Every time you inhale, try to lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, fold a little bit further. On your next inhale, gently bring yourself up. You're going to bring your right, no, your left knee in with you. Sit up really tall, and then you can twist towards or away from your leg. Whichever arm is in front, just let it be relaxed. Whichever arm is in back, try to take it to your low back. So that it's not supporting you, and then you'll just gently twist, leading yourself with your shoulder. Again, your arm that's in the front is just relaxing. On your exhale, coming back to center, gently unwind to the other side, and then we'll release that leg, pull the other one in, sit up really tall, and then you either twist towards or away from whichever feels more comfortable for you. Back hand coming to your low back if you can, and your front hand's just relaxing down.
on your inhale, coming all the way over unwinding, and then releasing that leg. If you're on a pillow or a block, move it out of the way. We're going to come down onto our back. One more thing for the core, and then we'll make our way to Shavasana. So you're going to bring your hands behind your head, like you would for a classic sit-up. Try to let your chin be lifted, and we're going to take a deep inhale as you exhale, shoulders up, and then lift your legs, squeeze them together. Exhale all the way back down, keeping your navel pulled back so your low back is flat the whole time. Coming up with the shoulders, then the legs, and then lift and lower down. more here. Last time, lifting up, pull your navel back, and then coming back to center, bring your arms out to the side. Knees can come up if you prefer, or you can keep the feet flat down on the ground, and just twist over towards the left. Every time you inhale, Fill your lungs up. When you exhale, pull everything in. Maybe you can let that shoulder relax further back. Maybe you can bring your gaze over your right hand. Inhale, gently coming back to center, evening out your hips, and make your way over to the other side. Just like before, fill yourself with as much air as you can, and then when you exhale, pull everything in around your spine. Maybe you can twist a little further. On your next inhale, coming back to center with your head, coming in to the middle, pull yourself into a tiny ball, squeeze every single muscle in your whole body, take a really deep inhale, and then as you exhale, lowering down, find where you'd like to be for Shavasana, if your arms are by your sides, take your palms to face up, but you can have them on your belly if you'd like, laying on your side if you prefer. Just taking a couple minutes to let your body relax. Starting with three deep inhales through your nose. Exhale out through the mouth. And then just let your breath relax back into its natural state. Searching your body with every inhale for somewhere that you are holding tension. And use that exhale to release it.
So you can begin to bring your awareness back into whatever room you're in. Slowly begin to lengthen the breath again. When you're ready, begin to make some small movements in your hands and feet, maybe rocking your head. Gently making the movements a little bit bigger. You can reach your arms above you, your legs long, taking an inhale through your whole body. And then bending one knee at a time, gently make your way off onto one side, pausing there, using your arm as a pillow. Noticing if you're feeling any differently now than you were at the beginning of class. Taking a moment to set an intention for the rest of your day or the rest of your week. And then once you're ready, with your eyes still closed, gently make your way up to whatever seated position is comfortable for you. Try to allow your shoulders to be relaxed back, the crown of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Sitting for a moment in stillness. Mm -hmm. And bringing your hands together at your heart center, take a moment to give gratitude to your body. Gently beginning to blink your eyes open. May the light within me reach out and touch the light within you. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. So if you haven't seen it already, I have a GoFundMe link on my Facebook page. If you like these classes, I would really appreciate um, a donation if you can, so I can hopefully raise enough to take a restorative yoga training this year after my surgery is all finished. Um, otherwise, I will see you, or you'll see me, I guess, next week um, with another class. Thanks for joining, and I hope that you all are having a great whatever month we are in right now.